Welcome to Blue Briefing. Our video will look at an important paper in the American Journal of Respiratory and Critical Care Medicine. Here, we discuss an update on management of adult patients with acute respiratory distress syndrome, an official American Thoracic Society clinical practice guideline by an ad hoc subcommittee of the ATS Assembly on Critical Care. Acute Respiratory Distress Syndrome, or ARDS, is a life-threatening condition that is characterized by poor oxygen supply and acute lung injury and leads to respiratory failure. Despite supportive care measures to minimize lung injury, mortality due to ARDS continues to remain high, and surviving patients experience long-term impairments. In 2017, the ATS, in collaboration with the European Society of Intensive Care Medicine and Society of Critical Care Medicine, published a clinical practice guideline with collated evidence on the use of ventilatory and adjunctive measures for managing ARDS. This was updated in 2023 by an international and multidisciplinary team that incorporated emerging evidence on management strategies for patients with ARDS. The evidence was summarized based on four PICO questions patient, intervention, comparison, and outcome. The experts used the GRADE framework to refurbish clinical recommendations. The new guidelines recommend the conditional use of corticosteroids for patients with ARDS and venovenous extracorporeal membrane oxygenation for selected patients with severe ARDS. Neuromuscular blockade is recommended in patients with early severe ARDS. The update also recommends the use of higher positive end respiratory pressure, or PEEP, without lung recruitment maneuvers in patients with moderate to severe ARDS, and recommends against prolonged recruitment maneuvers with lower PEEP. Patient and disease-specific characteristics must, however, be considered while implementing the guidelines in clinical decisions. While this evidence-based clinical update can help improve the management of patients with ARDS, Therapeutic strategies for the condition will need to be updated periodically to consider emerging advancements in the field. For more details, please read the article by Dr. Naida Qadir and colleagues. Thank you for watching Blue Briefing.